After all of this time of waiting to leave for France, the day finally comes and we are trying to load up the luggage in the car. We had taken so much stuff, it was impossible to fit everything in and I was just standing beside simulating help while only restocking some bottles and just talking. You can see how full the car is, it did not even want to close. Like the car knew we didn't need that much stuff. It finally worked and we were all happy with the success of our mission. We also prepared the mandatory sandwiches for the road trip because my family is broken and that means that we do not eat while traveling because it is expensive. Finally, we are off to a 12 hour trip to France. We'll go down and cross the French border with a ferry, with a car, I've never been to one with a car before, so it will be a new experience for me and I hope interesting for you as well. You know I always post the sunsets that I see here in my vlogs and this one was just stunning, it was like taken out of an American movie and scene. After two hours of driving, we get to the ferry, where after checkups they gave us this receipt that hangs in the middle. It's to prove that we have paid and everything is alright with our documents. You basically just leave your car here in this parking and I think you're not allowed to come and get anything from it during the journey. I was very curious how the ferry would look inside. It was, it was okay, it was decent, I liked it. Everybody was looking at me weirdly because I was filming, like yes, I am seeing a fairy for the first time. Inside it was okay, there were some restaurants, cafes and sitting areas, it was just like a nice clean hotel. By the end of it, we were tired of walking around, not being able to walk into a straight line because surprisingly this ferry was walking around a lot. Here in the distance you can see France, so welcome! Once we got onto the highway, we saw these red blinking lights. They looked very creepy, if you ask me, I was freaked out, but they're just windmills producing electricity. I managed to sleep through most of the journey and I woke up just in time for when we were arriving. We've been coming to this place for the past 5 years and it always had a special place in my heart, so I am so so happy to be here again. came here I've always wanted to do a tour because this is the coziest flat I've ever seen. There's just this window which is placed a bit inconveniently because you cannot really see the stunning view outside except if you're laying on the floor, which I will not ask why you would be doing because this is France and everything is possible. This tiny balcony is connected to a small room built after the reconstruction of the place. Everything here is exactly big enough to fit the bare minimum and not even an inch more and every space is optimized to its limit for storage. The built-in room is like out of the Snow White fairy tale. You can even open the window and see my boyfriend awkwardly standing in the middle of the tiny living room. This is the view from our flat, it is absolutely breathtaking. I'm also going to take you on a tour of the village that we're currently in. It's great that we have the slopes right in front of our building because we can just put our skis on, cross the road and then we'll be right at the lift. There are small shops and typical restaurants in the actual village. 
There's also a brasserie, brasserie, I don't know how to pronounce this, and the laundry room. We like to come here particularly because it is not too crowded and feels more like a family resort. We were exhausted from the journey, so we decided to spend the first day in, settling and resting to be ready to take over the slopes tomorrow. Good morning, I'm excited for skiing today, however, when I looked out of the window, I saw that most of the snow had melted. This winter is so warm that it snowed only once and it was more than three weeks ago, but we'll stay positive and we'll make the most out of it until we can. Today I will not speak a lot because I want you guys to enjoy the beautiful day that we had and the wonderful views that we saw. This is the highest you can go. It's kind of scary on the way up, but it's a really enjoyable slope. However, this time half of it was basically mud and we struggled to go down. The view was definitely worth it though. In the evening we went on a walk to a town nearby, it's a regular tourist town bigger than our village with shops, bars and authentic restaurants. We always window shop for chalets as if we can bring the money in tomorrow and move in the next day. I personally like the 3.2 million one the most, so we should find a way to be able to afford two of them to suit all of our tastes.
today we're going to Annecy, which is about an hour away. We actually skied for one more day, but I didn't film, so this is technically day five. Annecy is a big city full of tourists. It's famous for the lake around which it's built. The water was crystal clear. I've only seen the Dead Sea this much clear. Later I researched it and it's because they introduced strict environmental regulations to preserve it. There were so many ducks and swans and actually a swan liked it and it swam beside us all the way to the other side of the lake. I think it was just selfish and trying to beg for some food. weather was fantastic, it felt like early spring and there were so many people out enjoying the sun. It was oh so nice, the water was so blue, the sky was very bright, there were dogs and people everywhere, I swear that I fell in love with this place and I wanted to stay there forever. After quite a long walk, we reached the old town. I'm always stunned at how dreamy this place looks. It's just so colourful, lively and timeless. No matter where you look, there is always something to see. For lunch, we had the infamous raclette sandwiches. There was a long line and we got cut by some rude French people, but it's okay because the sandwiches were delicious. I can absolutely imagine myself drinking coffee every morning here. This adorable dog was soaked wet and was so happy carrying a huge piece of wooden floor. Its owner wasn't as cheerful about the situation, but I'm sure that dog's feelings are more important. Even though we already ate, we couldn't miss treating ourselves to a dessert from this bakery. Just look at all the good stuff behind the glass. Bonus cute content of all of us petting this good boy. I also want to be able to do uni while sitting at a cafe at the French Alps, but unfortunately it was time to go home. We spent two more days in the mountains before it was time to head back to London. This holiday was much needed and greatly appreciated, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week when I spend the day in central London and visit the Battersea Power Station then go back to university and studying. <laughs>